Hi, Alex here with Apple Dollars. If for some reason you're experiencing that you cannot click on your MacBook, anytime you can scroll over to something, but every time you try to click, nothing happens. This is a very common problem with MacBooks, and uh, today we're going to be going over how to fix it. This specific model is a 2008 A1278 uh, MacBook. Uh, it doesn't have the clicking on it. So what we're going to go over is we're going to go over uh, how to um, clean out the trackpad and how to fix the clicking issue. Let's go ahead and shut this unit down by holding the power button for three seconds. You will see a window that will pop up. Tab over to the shutdown button and press return. That will shut the computer down without having to use the mouse. Once the computer is shut down, you can go ahead and flip it over. On this specific model, we have a latch right here that you can press on, on the right side and pull up the battery cover. You can go ahead and pull your battery up like so and just shift it over on the side. Now that the battery's out of the way, we have full access to the trackpad. One of the quickest fixes that you can perform to try to fix the trackpad on the go is to adjust this right here tensioner screw. This screw is in charge of how tight, how tight, or how light your click is. If I screw it clockwise to the right from this position, is going to tighten up the trackpad and you can't even hear it click at all anymore. If I loosen it, uh, I'll have good, good clicking access. Now, what we want to do here is we want to clean the trackpad out. To get to the trackpad, all you have to do is peel off this black part. Now you can do this, I do this with a nail, um, if you have fragile nails, you might want to consider uh, prying it apart with maybe um, tweezers or something along that line. Uh, yes, this does get a little messy uh, and it does make things a little more difficult. But as you can see, it is very accessible and pretty easy to peel off. Let's put this on the side here. We'll be putting that back. Now you can see right here, uh, this trackpad has like a little tiny cover over it. Anytime that you're peeling back tape, I like to do it with my nails simply because it allows me full control uh, over not messing anything up. Um, that way that I don't break an unnecessary piece. For this piece of tape, I would like to grab these tweezers here and go ahead and get right underneath it and peel that right back okay this is a void warranty sticker but this MacBook has been out of warranty for so many years that it's not gonna help its cause now what you want to do is you want to get carefully get underneath this here and just pry it right up just like that. Wow, that was pretty easy, right? Okay, next thing we want to do with the same YO screwdriver, we want to get to these here six screws. Now that we have all six removed, we can go ahead and lift up the trackpad and peel it sl slowly off, peel, peel the glue right off and it will just drop right out. Now that we have the trackpad out, as you can see how it goes in there, right? Uh, this right here is your clicker. If you press on it, you can actually feel it click. 
Now what you want to do once you get the track pad out is with a toothbrush, a rough cloth, or as I like to use this dishwashing sponge, what you want to do is you want to rub the side walls of this track pad. Why am I doing this? Well, it's very um, simple. The track pad is so sensitive that if there's any dirt or grime along the ledge of the assembly or along this track pad, false signals will be sent to the computer saying that you're clicking. Maybe that you're even clicking and holding the click down. So if your computer for a long <clears throat> for a long time thinks that you're you're holding it down, you just think that your clicker doesn't work, but it's in fact sending sending a signal to the operating system saying that you're holding down the click button uh, for a very prolonged period of time. Once you get done rubbing the sides and all the gunks is out of the way, maybe something that's spilled and dried in there, you want to go ahead and move on to clean out this part here. Just gently rub it, nothing too harsh. Now that the cleaning is done, it's time to put the track pad back in. Okay, let's go ahead and screw it in. So everything that we just did, but in a reverse order. Okay, here's an extremely important part. What we want to do is we want to make sure that the trackpad align, lines up and looks correctly when we have the MacBook open. Uh, so that way there isn't too much of a crack here and not enough of a crack here. As you can see, uh, this looks a little awkward if you look in very close detail. And uh, what we want to do is we want to shift this trackpad a little to the left. Sometimes if you leave the screws that are holding it down loose enough, you can actually do it with your fingers by simply mashing it and pulling it to the left. I tighten mine up a little too tight, so I want to go ahead and get access back to the trackpad. Untighten these just a little bit. Just slide that trackpad right over just like that then I'm gonna secure the middle screws on both sides the left and the right and then I'm just gonna check it let's see yeah that looks good Okay, let's tighten it all the way down. Trackpad secure. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and tug this cable back in. Close the eyelash and go ahead and put back the black piece of tape. If your black tape won't stick, it's not a problem. Just cut out a piece of scotch tape and put right over it. Let's reinsert our battery. Our top cover. Power on our MacBook. Yep, we have our clicking back. All right, that's how to fix the trackpad. Thanks for watching.